everyone, Bethany here with Atlantic Flag and Pole. This is a public service announcement in regards to your eagle toppers, okay? So I've had a lot of inquiries um, regarding the installation process for our eagle toppers. So just to clarify, um, both our eagle toppers and our gold ball toppers, excuse me, are custom long pin to be able to accommodate our solar lights, okay? And so um, that means that there is enough clearance at the bottom when you screw it into the top of your flagpole that you're still able to have the solar light. At least we can guarantee that for our solar lights because they've been tested um, to, for both items to be able to fit at the top of your flagpole. Now I think some confusion has come into play because many of you have received um, some of our eagle toppers that have instructions that were included that are one of our generic forms. Um, and they really are speaking more to the fact that um, there are a lot of people and companies that buy the Eagle Toppers and install them on a commercial grade flagpole. And the nut is an important piece because many, uh, many commercial flagpoles use a more um, classic truck style topper, okay? So with our telescoping flagpole design, it's very different in that the ball is already attached to the eagle, or of course you could use the eagle topper as a separate accessory. Neither of them need the nut that comes standard on the eagle topper, okay? Neither of them need the nut to be able to be um, efficiently installed at the top of the flagpole. So when you are installing the eagle topper, and you're running out of room because you have a solar light at the top of your flagpole, you just need to remove the nut and there's no reason for you to keep that on because you're not trying to hold something in place like a typical uh, classic style truck, okay? Because that is a very different design than what we offer. It's more simple at the top of a telescoping flagpole. So all you're gonna do is remove that nut, like so a little longer than I expected. Ta-da! And then you're going to, I'm gonna try and do this here. I've got a, a pole right here with me. Um, can you see that? All right. Let me see if I can do this because it's not installed. <laughs> You'll take the solar light and the eagle topper will slide through the center. Okay, like so. See that? And then you'll be able to go ahead and install. And you should have plenty of clearance, plenty of room. Like I said, sorry, this isn't installed, so it's a little bit trickier to do. But I just wanted to be able to provide this information for customers who are inquiring and a little bit confused about the process. And you can go down until the thread stop. We're not there yet. Sorry, this is a little bit longer for you to watch, but I just wanted to make sure that you were able to kind of see it. We're almost there to the bottom of the threads. Twist it all the way in. Almost there. Let's see. There you go. And there you have it. Let's see if you're able to. Oh, let me pick this up a little bit. Okay, you are absolutely able to fit our solar light and our eagle topper at the top of our flight pole. All you need to do is very carefully remove the knot and you'll have plenty of room to be able to have both items, okay? So to clarify, the knot is really only there in the directions that are generic that you may have received in your flagpole kit. 
Um, they're there because not all people who order an Eagle Topper are using a telescoping flagpole design. There are different toppings, different trucks, different styles for different flagpoles. But for our Phoenix telescoping flagpole, all you have to do is remove the nut and you'll have no problem being able to accommodate the solar light at the very top, okay? All right, so I hope that that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Um, but that's that. Um, it's a pretty simple process to, a, to um, install. It looks beautiful at the top of your flagpole. And these newer style Eagle Toppers that we offer actually have a little bit more room. So they actually sit up a little bit higher above the solar light, which is something that we went ahead and did because over the years we've had people say, oh, if I'm looking right from the very bottom and I'm looking up at, at the Eagle, I can't see it as much because of the solar light. So this way it sits up a little bit higher. So you have that much more clearance, whether you're right underneath the flagpole, you're stepping back, you get to see more of the beautiful American Eagle with the gold ball underneath it. All right, uh, that's that for now. And I'll talk to you again soon.